All right, uh, let's go through Scott McClellan's quotes real quick so we can get to your calls. Uh, more questions at the press conference today at the White House. How does the president feel about bin Laden personally? There have been famous quotes. Obviously, if there's something that's of an uh, urgent nature, the president uh, is informed. The famous quote, dead or alive, then in March of 02, I'm not that concerned about him. Then he said, I never said I wasn't worried about him. You talk broadly about the leaders in general. Well, kind of well, I, just ended, I, just ended, I just indicated to you uh, <laughs> that we continue to pursue al-Qaeda leaders and other terrorists who are seeking to do harm to the American people. Uh, we have made great progress over the last few years. We've kept really? them on the run. We've put a lot of pressure on them uh, because of the great work of our intelligence community, because of the great work of our military, because of the partnerships that we have with many nations around the world. Uh, and we will continue to pursue them wherever they are. Uh, let's stop uh, for one sec. The pres- he just sucks at his job. I, I, I read somewhere that he's likable. I, I find that hard to believe. Oh, come on. That's just a, another nonsense talking point. He's one of the least likable men in America. No, no, I mean, I uh, know he's got a tough job, but, man, he is, I mean, the, the evasiveness and the sweating and the, this guy's, no, I mean, no, who wants to hang out with Scott McClellan? It's the, as I just explained to you, I said, don't, it, it is it is such basic press work not to get snippy and say, as I just explained to you, because you didn't really explain anything, first of all. Would you lose your evasive. patience if you were Scott McClellan, though, at this point? No, it's your whole job. And it's not a question of losing your patience. He's losing his patience over stuff that's not worth losing your patience over. Right. He just didn't explain something. When they follow it up, then say, uh, let me, let, you know, no, what I'm trying to say is this. And just, just say it. But he's, he's instantly snippy. It's like, it's like he's their wife. It, no, it's because he's a punching bag. They come out there and they're like, he has his talking point of today, and he repeated it, I don't know, a dozen times. He's on the run. Now, that is the most nonsensical talking point of all time because the man is clearly very comfortable in a studio somewhere making tapes, right? So there's nothing on the run about him. He's been comfortably sitting in northern Pakistan for four years. It, the point is absolutely indefensible, and he's got to get out there and try to defend it for you know however long that uh, thing takes. I mean, that's tough. It's, it's hard work. It's hard work. I mean, I'd get snippy, too, probably, if somebody told me to go live for an hour straight. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. We take a couple calls and go back and hear, hear a little more. Scott McClellan or no? Uh, let's just finish him up. He's almost done. Oh, is he almost done? Yeah, right. he's, got, he's finishing that right. up, and he's got one more question. Uh, the president has made that very clear. Uh, they can run, but we will continue to pursue them, and they will be brought to justice. <laughs> they can like... run and continue to hide. Well, we don't care about them. It's kind of like the Arizona Cardinals saying, we got the Patriots on the run. Well, how so? I mean, it's just how so. I don't understand. They're very comfortable. They're the champions of the world. How are, like, not, Osama Bin Laden's not the champion of the world, and we're not the Arizona Cardinals, but uh, it's the Cardinals have not caught the Patriots. They have not caught them. You can't say, well, uh, we're not the champions, and we've had an abysmal record of catching up to the Patriots, but we got the Patriots on the run. It doesn't make any sense. All right, last one here. Scott McClellan, of course, is the White House spokesman. Scott, um, if the tape is authentic, it shows that bin Laden is still alive. Um, you say he's on the run right now. Um, would you go so far as to say he has been marginalized? Let me not put words in your mouth, but has, is he marginalized at this point? Well, as I indicated, uh, he's clearly on the run, and clearly Al-Qaeda is under a lot of pressure because of the actions that we are taking, because of the fact that we're on the offense, because of the fact that we're taking the fight to the enemy. That's what changed after September 11th. Before September 11th, the terrorists were taking the fight to the civilized world. They were attacking America. They were attacking other countries, and they thought they could do it. And they're not anymore, the right? Uh, now they know that... They could e- do it easier. Right, and that's why we will continue to pursue them wherever they are. We will continue to pursue this war until we win, and we will win. How do you know he's on the run? I, I think it's clear from all indications. The last time we heard from him was a year ago in a, in a tape, uh, audio tape. And that, as I indicated, that was uh, when he was urging the Iraqi people not to vote. And so anyone that thinks that Iraq is not a central front in the war on terrorism, all, all they need to do is go and look at the words of bin Laden, look at the words of Zawahiri and other terrorists. All right. Scott, I got a helpful hint for you. This is what on the run sounds like. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Bush, uh, you're, we're coming to get you. Uh, I offer a truce. I offer a truce. <laughs> okay. That's what on the run sounds like. Osama bin Laden doesn't sound like that. He sounds like... We're going to bomb you in your ass. Hey, could you turn up the decibel level here? Yeah, okay, a little bit on the right here and a little bit on the left here. All right, get me get me on my left side here. Hey, uh, so Bush, as I was saying, okay, 
The man is inside a studio. He's not on the run. I don't know a guy. I mean, I don't know whose studio is better, ours or and we just built it, or his in, in Waziristan. Okay? The man is not on the run. And then he says, well, as you can tell, you know, before 9-11, they used to attack with impunity. Now, after 9-11, uh, we... Uh, here's the problem. Before 9-11... Uh, there was terrorism throughout the world, but it was once every two years a bombing in, you know, Africa, a bombing in uh, the Middle East, and then obviously the big 9-11 bombing. Now, there's bombings everywhere. And that's not just some, you know, anecdotal evidence. The State Department puts out a list every year. It's quadrupled. It's gone up how many fold? I can't tell you. There's numbers. The terrorism is skyrocketing in the last four years. Yeah, that's not fair to ask Scott McClellan, though. Right. The terrorists are on the run around the world. Uh, I guess so, since they're planting the bombs all around the world. they got to run from one location to another.